Hello and welcome to episode one of Art by Angus, the new show that's on YouTube, probably also on TikTok, where I paint and talk a bit of nonsense while I'm painting. Some would say I'm the new Bob Ross. I wouldn't say that, but some would say that. Um, and it's up to them if they want to say that, okay? Uh, and, you know, we're going to get straight into painting. There's going to be no messing around, except for the mess we've just done. Beautiful view from the balcony, if you can see in the background, a lovely four-lane, three-lane road with another two lanes on the side. Don't know what all the lanes are for, but listen, we're in Dubai, the sun's shining. We've got a bit of blue, ultramarine blue paint that we're going to begin with. And I'm going to start in the top right-hand corner, because that's just what I feel like doing. Um, and nobody can tell me what to do. I can make my own decisions because I'm a fully grown adult. <laughs> um, if you're new to the channel, which you presumably are because it's the first episode, then make sure you subscribe uh, because there's going to be plenty more episodes where this came from. I'm going to try and make it a very regular thing that we do these painting shows. Love this ultramarine blue. Uh, when it mixes with the water, it goes kind of light, but when it's purely concentrated, it's quite dark. Um, I think I'm going to go for a, a majority blue and red here. I'm going to basically recreate another painting that I've done before that I really like. But then I might mix in some other colors into the action as well. Um, but yeah, here we go. Just very basic brush strokes. I don't really know. What did Bob Ross talk about? He really cared about describing the way he was painting. I don't really care about that. Maybe I'll tell you a bit about my holiday in Dubai so far. It's the second day. God, the amount of very nice cars I've seen is pretty absurd. Uh, quite a few Ferraris, at least 10 G-Wagons. All the cars I can see right now are pretty boring, a lot of Priuses. There's a load of very American cars as well, like those uh, big trucks that you expect the CIA to drive or the Secret Service or whatever. There's a bus. Wow. <laughs> um... Yeah, obviously, listen, it's the first episode of Art by Angus, so I'm, I'm going to figure out what my uh, patter looks like as I progress. Um, this is the first episode, so I'm just figuring it out, so bear with me. I know I said I was going to go blue and red. Am I? Oh, yeah. I don't know. It feels like it's a bit boring to just recreate a painting I've already done, isn't it? So maybe I actually won't do that. I'm going to start with blue. Maybe I'll go red next, but we're not going to go just blue and red using golden paints golden paints if you want to sponsor me someday in the future when we're on like episode 200 you probably will be begging me to sponsor me uh but golden paints are just the best paints i've ever used i used to use really cheap acrylic paint here's a tip for any artists out there spend more on paint and it's it's really worth it uh golden paints ridiculously expensive like i'm pretty sure this tube of paint alone costs like 16 pounds which is nuts um so when you look at the expensive prices of art, sometimes it might make sense. Although my art is actually very affordable, so you should check out artbyangus.com and uh, buy loads of art. But yeah, golden. There's two different types. So the ones in these tubes, like this very expensive blue one, uh, are heavy body acrylic. So those have more body, as the name would suggest. They're sort of thicker. They can do nice, uh, if you want to do, uh, I don't know what the technical term is, but you know, thick brush strokes that's good this is the fluid acrylic i think yes fluid acrylic um, and it as the name suggests is more fluid so let's get a bit of fluid acrylic on this painting shall we oh making a mess you know i love making a mess you should see my bedroom i'm sure future episodes of the show will be filmed from my bedroom which is in london um and it's absolutely covered in paint as is like the rest of my apartment Probably never going to get my deposit back, but it's worth it for the pursuit of artistic endeavor, isn't it? If you don't think it is, hit subscribe and then piss off because I don't want you here. But I do subscribe still. Like, and if you ha if you're watching and you haven't subscribed yet, what do you do? Also, like the video because you know I need I need to feel some sense of validation uh, from the internet, please. Also, leave a comment. Let me know who you are, where you're from. What, what colors I should paint with next, what I should paint next. I'm, I'm open to suggestions. Uh, just saw someone crossing, crossing the road down there at a pedestrian crossing. Who cares? Also across the road from a big shopping mall uh, where I actually bought this uh, kitchen towel because I need kitchen towels to dry my paintbrushes. 
<sighs> also, if you've got any suggestions as to what I should talk about while I'm painting, jump in the comments, because clearly I don't really know. Uh, I'm winging it. But you know, that's what Art by Angus is about. It's just a, a show where we wing it. And we, like I said, I chat nonsense. And if you don't like that, you're probably absolutely no crack. And even though you probably have some friends, they probably, you're probably not their favorite friend. <laughs> They probably barely even like hanging out with you. Okay, we're gonna go on with a bit of gold next. Ooh, this one's stuck. Oh, there we go. Very paint heavy container here. Uh, all right, ooh. I particularly must say I love gold paint. There's something about it. Feels very uh, opulent to use this gold shiny paint. An opulent is the word I would use to describe Dubai as a city so far. Only my second day here, um, first time visiting. But like I said, lots of very nice cars, lots of clearly very rich people. Also, <laughs> seen quite a few already. Very attractive young women with very unattractive older men. And I can only guess that those very unattractive older men have very attractive bank balances. Maybe I'm stereotyping. Maybe they're just really good people and they've got good personalities. Probably not, though, are they? They're probably rich. I'm not saying these women are gold diggers. But they're not messing around with broke men. As Kanye West would say, I think. Oh, uh, I thought it was a G-Wagon. It's just a Jeep. Um, but yeah, Dubai so far. I'm a fan. Maybe it's because it's sunny and it was pissing rain in London when I left, but uh, I like it. Uh, oh, my messy painting with the red earlier has got us a few blobs of red that we've mixed on there, but which I'm not particularly happy about, but I'm not mad about it either, so I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to go for some light magenta next, which is more commonly known as light pink. Oh, is that one? I think that's a G-Wagon. I don't know if you can even see it, but I saw it, so. Just trust me. Yeah? Take my word for it. Oh, I hope the audio on this isn't terrible, because it is quite windy. If the camera's a bit shaky, that's also because it's windy. Um, we'll just have to make do. We're improvising. It's episode one, yeah? We're still learning here. I actually went to the, the, the shopping mall across the road, which is called the Nikal... No, Nakheel Mall, um, near the Palm Jumeria in Dubai. And I bought the stand that my camera is currently sitting on. Normally I remember to bring my recording equipment. I remember to bring my paint, obviously, but I forgot to bring my recording equipment, which I, I will admit I was actually quite annoyed at myself because that's just an absolutely rookie mistake to make. Um, all right, here we go. Lovely bit of pink here. Um, but yeah, went to the went to the mall, and went to a few places that didn't have any filming equipment, and then went to another one that did. He didn't have exactly what I wanted, but I think you'll agree it's getting the job done. Unless the audio is not working, in which case it's nothing to do with the stand; it's the microphone. So it is probably working. I can see it's working because the phone isn't moving. It's, it's stationary, apart from the wind shaking it, which you know probably a bit jarring if you're watching but also oh fucking hell we're going for medium magenta next which seemingly is very difficult to open if you are still watching well then first of all i'd like to say i love you you're a legend thanks for sticking with us and for for watching episode one um if you're watching this 20 years in the future leave a comment and let me know how well this is aged because that's pretty cool if you are watching this 20 years in the future um i'm probably a um, globally renowned artist by that time um i can only guess uh but you know this is where we started it's not where we started we didn't literally start in dubai i was born in ireland uh and i started painting in london but dubai is where the show started um and yeah i'd just like to thank you for for watching episode one and for for being one of the early viewers or one of the late viewers in 20 years time either way the fact that you're watching episode one means you're a real one and i appreciate you deeply um so leave a comment and make sure you subscribe to the channel because if you're not subscribed 
what are you even doing? Um, all right, seeing as it costs 16 pounds, I'm gonna use the last color we're gonna put on here is gonna be this light pythalo blue. I talk about this a lot on, on my social media content, but like the people who name paints are probably wankers. Because why do they have to fucking make them such obtuse names? Light, how do you even say that? It's like P H T H. Oh, there's a sports car, Lamborghini. Um, P H T H A L O. Light Fatalo Blue. What sort of a prick named that? They've probably gotten few mates. Uh, I should probably have someone to go. If people don't have friends in episode one. <laughs> Just having no script seems to bring out a nasty side of me, uh, where I'm quite a judgmental, mean person, and that's not really in my nature. So. Don't judge me on this, um, unless you like it, in which case do judge me on it and make sure you're subscribed, but don't expect it, don't come to expect this from me, I'm actually quite a nice person, a lot of the time, I promise. Um, okay, here we go, drying off this brush that we used for the first blue, stay on this brush, it's, it's clearly well weathered, well worn, it's been used a lot, um, here we go. Oh, I do love this blue. It's worth every pound of those 16 pounds. So it is. Um, that's delightful. I'm going to mix some of this in at the top as well. Because I just feel like it. Um, okay. Have you got a good angle of the painting? Um, now, what am I going to do next? I'm going to do the final touches on this painting, which is going to be splatting a bit of paint on it to spice things up. I'm going to start with some black. I do this, this is probably the, I've done a series of paintings. I did one, first one was in Egypt, uh, all painted on a balcony with, I'll be honest, a much nicer view than this multi-lane road. Um, so less nice cars, but beautiful view of the sea and the Egyptian landscape. That was the first series. I know I've done one in Turkey, did one in Thailand. I think they're the three three series where I've named the paintings after the countries. There's a Porsche. Oh no, it's not. It's fucking it's shit. Um, and I don't know what the point I was making there. Uh, but oh, the point is when I do all these splats, I like to put splats on the paintings to uh, spice things up and to, because it just makes them look cooler, in my humble opinion. Um, but the tables in every hotel I've stayed in have had lots of splats of paint on them. But, you know what? I'm yet to get in trouble for it. So I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep doing it. Because if I don't get in trouble for it, why would I stop? If it makes the paintings look nice. Okay, done some black. I think where my head is at, I'm going to do some turquoise, some yellow. And some gold splats. Wash off this black. This is, <laughs> I presume you'll agree um, that this is basically exactly like watching Bob Ross paint. Um, more abstract, obviously, in terms of the actual painting style, but my patter, God, it's right there with Bob, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it? Let me know in the comments. Um, and like I said before, if you're not subscribed, you're probably a prick. So make sure you subscribe, because I don't think you are a prick. If you, especially if you've watched this far into the video, you're probably an absolute legend. Or if you're watching on TikTok, leave a comment and saying, TikTok, massive, and follow me. Okay, gold, done. Next, we're gonna do a bit of this turquoise. What's this called? Probably something of teal. Not even turquoise, it's teal. I love teal. What a nice colour. Um, you know, I'm going to be actually quite upset if I finish this uh, episode and I listen to the audio and all you can hear is just the wind blowing because it is very windy up here. But like I said, we're experimenting. We're trying things out. It's episode one. We're learning. We're just beginning. Lovely bit of teal. Uh, 
Next up, we're going to splash a bit of yellow. I'm going to leave the gold. <laughs> There's no gold. I was going to say I'm going to leave the teal, but I'm not. It doesn't mix well with yellow. So I'm going to wash that off the brush. And I'm going to do some yellow splats. And coming up now is the most satisfying part of the painting, which is where we peel away the tape and reveal some nice crisp, clean edges on the painting. Um, with these paintings, never really know what they're like until that phase where you peel away the tape because that's when the painting really reveals itself. Uh, and before then, you don't really know what it's like. So stick with me for that moment of truth, which is impending. Uh, oh, there's another Lamborghini. Let's just be by for you. And another Jeep that looks like a G-Wagon, but it's not. Loser. <laughs> um, okay, here we go. It's the moment of truth. The big reveal. Uh, where we peel away the tape and we allow the painting to, for the first time, truly reveal itself to us. Here we go. Starting with this piece. Oh. It's nothing more upsetting. It happens many times when I do these paintings. And it looks really nice. And then you get to this uh, tape peeling phase. And then it just rips big chunks of the painting out. Oh, I'm not jinxing it by talking about it, but it's so upsetting because you've spent time on this painting. And so yeah, you need to be really gentle and careful with this part of the process to hopefully avoid any uh, tears or rips. Okay, we're looking good here. Second piece is coming off nicely. Um, another Lamborghini. Fucking hell, Dubai. You're just showing off now. Um, if anyone watching this owns a Lamborghini and wants to give me some financial advice, let me know because... I don't necessarily want a Lamborghini, but, but I do want to be really rich. And I'm not as rich as I'd like to be. Okay, these pieces, this is the second use for these top and bottom pieces of tape. Um, I used them for the first painting I did earlier today, which wasn't featured on video. Um, so that makes me nervous because sometimes those have a tendency to stick more. But we're three out of four and we haven't had a single tear yet. Hopefully we're getting the good vibes of episode one of our Bangus keeping us safe from tears. Sometimes you get a bit cocky and you get a bit loose on the last one, but I'm not gonna do that today. I'm gonna stay slow and steady and concentrated. Oh, and I must say, now that I've peeled away all the tape, this looks fucking sick. I am very, very pleased with how this has turned out. Let me turn it around and give you a good, good look at it. Oh, hope it doesn't blow away. I mean, if you might disagree, but I'm delighted with this. I think it's beautiful. Uh, and all that's left to do, oh, all that's left to do is to, to sign it, but I haven't got my pencil, pen, pen with me. So I'm gonna bring you inside with me. Um, I'm gonna carry the painting with me as well, because I don't want it to blow away. Now, I'll bring you back outside. This is my, I uh, hope it's not too messy. This is my hotel room in Dubai. Well, it's an apart hotel. Or whatever you call them. Uh, let me just sit you back down here. Make sure you've got a good view. Okay. Now, like I said, I did do a painting previously, and I like to do these series of paintings when I'm on holidays in different countries and name them. For example, Dubai, part one, part two, so part three, etc. You get the picture. This is Dubai, part two. So all that's left to do is to write that. Dubai part two in Roman numerals because I'm I'm classy like that and then a signature uh, with the year that it was painted which in this case is 2024 but I abbreviate that to an apostrophe a two and a four only the second painting I've signed with 2024 on the date even though it's the beginning of March I have done other paintings but I've only dated two so there you go that was Dubai part two, Art by Angus episode one. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video, share it with a friend or several. And if you're watching this in 20 years time, I hope I'm still doing this. And I hope I'm a very established, globally successful, world famous artist.
That's the plan. Cheers.